Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the Exiled Champion here, and welcome back to the Skylanders Trap Team Most and Least Favorite Lock. In this episode, we're going to the Chompy Mountain, and we're going after Chompy Mage. This kind of scares me. <laughs> this this kind of scares me a little bit, because this was the point of the, in the first lock that we lost our first member. So it's it's a little stressful, not gonna lie. It's 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 gonna be cool. I'm excited for the fight though. And you may have noticed that I added a lot more care or many more characters um, in this lock than I had in the first one because I really underestimated how difficult the nightmare mode and trap team is. Because playing it in like a lock version and playing it normally are way different. Because you don't have to be as careful if you're not doing a lock. So it's... I kind of forgot about that. So I I underested, underestimated how tough it would be and overestimated how good I am. But I'm not making that same mistake twice. I, I have... I think a very good selection of characters because I didn't even make it past the future of Skylands in the first one and that was with three Skylanders on each so I've got four Skylanders on each side and a villain for certain sections I feel like that's a, a little bit more fair All right, and I believe we've got our first couple enemies life element I'm already Zulu I'm really excited to get to the chop mage fight like I said in the last one my favorite part about trap team is all the boss battles it's my favorite part about like Skylanders in general is just the combat and trap team is full of it so it's going to be really cool. Chompy Mage is going to be a difficult fight. That's for sure. And I hope we get to use characters that are not in the air and life element in this. Well. Thank you. <laughs> I guess we... Yes, got what I wanted. So we got our first tick. Te tick? Tech? Still can't speak, don't mind me. Drill Sergeant. Okay. Thanks for that. I haven't played Drill Sergeant in a while, actually. And I'm also not going to be going for any bonus treasures or anything like that. Because, like I said, most of the characters are already maxed out. So I'm really just going for the combat. And, like, the gameplay. The cutscenes are really not that important. The bonus stuff is kind of useless at this point. If, it, if it's there, I'll get it for a character that doesn't, um, have any of it, but... Alright, so we got the first battle, Bruiser Cruiser. He's pretty easy for Drill Sergeant, actually. This is surprisingly simple. I was about to say I don't remember the game being this easy in the last one, but I'm only on level 3, so it's, it is definitely going to get harder as we go on. I'm also using fully upgraded characters, so I'll definitely have to start being more careful with my army. Alright, so there's the second coil. I believe that 
we've got a villain zone coming up so we'll be able to use if it doesn't change our element which I don't think it will um, we got dr. crankcase and drill sergeant to get through this little battle up here Yeah, I always thought Drill Sergeant was a really cool character. I don't know why people say that Drill Sergeant is weak. Excuse me. I always found him really fun. And if you know how to use him, he can do quite a lot of damage. And by if you know how to use him, I just mean constantly holding down this. Yeah, so villains are stronger. So as I grab my trap, I'm just going to kind of defend myself. Which I definitely did not do. Here we go. We got Dr. Crankcase for this. That's such an obvious Star Wars reference. Well, there we go. That makes this battle much easier. The villains really don't add that much though. They don't last that long, see? They're not they're not game breaking. They're just kinda there as a little bonus and a little bit of um stress relief during um the game because it, it does get very stressful. Like when I the entire time that um I was in the future of Skylands in the first one, I was incredibly stressed. I should probably be a bit more focused. If I lose Drill Sergeant this early, I am going to be very upset. I'm not going to let that happen. Camera angle kind of sucks. There we go. There's this weird glitch with Broccoli Guy that I've noticed in Trap Team where sometimes projectiles don't hit him. Like, they just go through him a lot of the time. There we go. Now, Crankcase is gone. Is um, out of the villain zone. Or, I will be, but... Yep. All right. So we're going to continue in. We're getting to the part where Bumble Blast was killed. So it's going to be interesting. I believe it was the part with the two slobber traps on the bridge, if I remember right. <clears throat> oh, well, we got a brand new element. Uh, it's definitely not this part because Bumble Blast is life. But we got our first magic, Voodoo. I don't know why people hate Voodoo so much. He is an incredible character. Like, look at how fast I kill the slobber trap. All you do is stand on it. You don't do anything. And, um, but it just left me. There it is. There's the life change that I was kind of fearing. So, we've got our third life character, Zook. It has been a long time since I've played Zook, but I, I remember liking him a lot, so... Ah, uh, yes, I believe I went with his, um, mortar path. Yeah, I went with his mortar. Or no, I went with his cactus barrier. What am I saying? 
Yeah, Zook is also a really, um, on, I feel like I'm completely forgetting the word, but people need to show a little bit more appreciation of Zook, and there's a villain spot here? Well, that kind of changes everything. Oh, and I'm making another rule right now. No villains in Doom Raider fights. I'm not sure if there even are any spots like that where villains can be allowed. But I'm just saying it now. There are no villains allowed in Doom Raider fights because that'll make it more fun. Yeah, and if you couldn't tell, Chompy Mage is my favorite life villain. He is really cool. Alright, and there's an easy way to get through here. There we go. Let's go get him out of the cage. <laughs> if only that worked. I mean, it's pretty much working. There we go. Alright. Now I'm going to take Chompy Mage out of there. I think we might have to fight <clears throat> um, Chompy Mage with Zook. I'd be okay with that. I, I am... Yeah, I think we are fighting him as Zook. That is perfectly okay with me. We can do that. Zook is great. Here we go. I do like how you can't skip the villains intros though. I like that. Completely forgot about the fact that there's fire barriers. Or waves. <laughs> Whoa, that one moved really fast. Okay, I just got stuck. This is not going well already. Okay. I'm not doing very well already. We might lose Zook. Well, that deals with his chompies. This may be easier with, um, the fact that he doesn't have, like, 30 chompies attacking me. Getting me stuck. Why does that one move so fast? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna lose Zook. Wow, alright, well that'll be a really hard lesson that'll teach me, hey, get focused. Holy crap. Zook's gone. I am so disappointed in myself right now. The fact that I... I Oh my god, if... Why? God. Damn it. Alright, well. Gonna use our first Fire Skylander. I'm gonna go with Flame Slinger. The fact that I can hurt him up there was kind of cool. What better way to counter fire than the fire? Definitely much better with Flame Slinger than I am with Zook. It's been a little while since I played Zook. I probably should have did a little bit of training with each character before I started this. That way I could remember how to actually use them. But, well, we lost our first one. I'm honestly pretty upset with myself. The fact that I got Zook killed this early. Oh, we almost got him. Oh, there we go. Chompy Mage defeated. 
there we go. We got Chompy Mage, but that was wow. I really need to pay more attention and focus much more than I was. That was that was awful. I just cost us another or our first Skylander and it was Zook that's really disappointing all right well I guess that'll have to be it for this episode um wow I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching me be a complete idiot and um, yeah I'll see you in the next one